Okay, y'all, welcome back. It's Big Al once again. Uh, this lock we have in front of us right here, uh, this Gorilla Lock, um, it's actually supposed to be in a package, but a uh, little funny short story real quick. Uh, this was sent to me from uh, a guy on Twitter that goes by I'm Gumby. Uh, I wrote it on the key tag right here. Uh, he goes by I'm Gumby. Uh, he told me I can use his name. He sent this thing from uh, Canada, uh, Darcy from Canada. So, Darcy, thank you so much for sending it. Uh, he found out I was collecting these locks. Uh, contacted me, I believe it was via Twitter, and uh, said, hey, I got this lock. Bada boom, bada bing. He sent me, I, I sent him one back. I think I sent him a pack lock back. But uh, So yeah, he was kind enough to send this to me for my uh, collection. So again, thank you very much. Now, when he sent it, it was in a package. Uh, I was doing a traditional out-of-package pick. I was going to. And I looked down at my camera after I cut the package open. I stuck the pick in the lock, looked down at the camera, and the microphone input level was flatlined. The microphone I use takes a battery. It's a preamp, and the battery was dead. So, yeah, bad day. So, back to the lock. It's uh, still a brand new lock. It's just obviously already out of the package. So, um, here is what's left of it. Uh, it says, two and a half inch padlock, super strong solid steel shackle for maximum security, uh, case hardened steel body, ideal for vending machines, storefront gates, yada yada. Removable and rekeyable cylinder includes three brass keys. So, you know, your basic. Now, this, this is kind of like a Harbor Freight lock, I think, you know, on the cheaper side. Uh, that's not what matters. Uh, we both know it was. Um, it's, it's just for the collection. I didn't have one of these yet, and now I do, so I'm happy to have it. Uh, this isn't going to be used in some high security situation, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, but here are the keys. Actually, pretty decent bidding. Look how bad that cut is. Okay, let's grab another one. Nice and clean. But yeah, nice bidding. Got to give it that. Now this is a uh, one, two, three, four, five pin lock, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So cool. Uh, it is double ball locking, and we do have the Phillips screw down here, so we can take the core out. Uh, you know that shackle does say hardened right there, but you know we're going to have to test it. Uh, let me grab my handy dandy file and get the rough side here. And I'm just going to go way down here, where it doesn't really matter, and give it a stroke. Oh, no. Okay, that's... Folks, uh, that's chewing right in there. Yeah, that is not hardened. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, it even says it right there on the shackle. See that? That is not hardened. The file just digs right into it. So, fail on that. All right, so, uh, I'm looking at the... The fit and finish, I mean, it's not that awful. It's cleaned up pretty well. It's even got the beveled edges, and the hole down here is pretty clean, to be honest. So, not one of the worst, um, but seen much better. So, let's uh, try and pick into it and uh, see what's under the hood in this thing. Make sure it's locked all the way back up. Let's grab us a tension tool. And I'll tell you what, that's a pretty wide open keyway. Uh... So you can see there, I'm just going to grab, let's just grab a Sparrows. I mean, that one right there might work. This is from the Mon Sparrows Monstrum XXL set. If you're wondering, uh, let's grab us a tensioner over here. Should fit. Yes. All right. Now, uh, I did check, uh, I did put a new battery in the microphone, and the camera battery is just fine, so hopefully we don't have another epic fail. Okay, bada boom, bada bing, the magic words. Uh, I guess we'll just start in the back. I do not think it has security pins in this lock, but, you know, it'd be ni nice to be, uh, proven wrong. Whoa. Felt like an overset. Let that go a little bit. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. I don't... 
Uh, I don't anticipate uh, security pins. Four. Sorry, four. Five all the way in the back. Okay, it felt good, I think. Five, four, a little more on three. Two. Okay, one right behind the tension wrench. One, two, three. Four, five. I might have overset that fifth one. Four, three, two. There it is. So yeah, I don't think there's security pins in there. Uh, what I anticipate is some of them blob pins, to be honest, but uh, that's all right. So let's uh, dig into it again and see what's under the hood in this thing. All right, bada boom, bada bang, baby. Let's get that out of there. Hopefully it's not a crimped core or something like that, too. I do not know. Oh, you know what? Before I get that off of there... Uh, I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to lock it back up. Let's see if we can't uh, use a bypass tool real quick. Lock back up. Well, it just wants to spin around. Yeah, it just wants to spin, so I don't think so. Let's see what kind of core it's got here. Come on, baby. Uh, maybe I should have popped it back open. Let's just do that. All right. Yeah, it seems like it should have worked. But there's not a whole lot in there to grab a hold of. But maybe with a little finesse, because it is the right type. See, as long as you bring that tool down along that lobe right there, technically it should be able to open the lock. So, yeah, maybe a little bit more time into that would probably work. Let's get some of this junk out of the way. Let's move this. And grab a pinning tray down here. Oh, okay, so what they did, this might be a problem. What they did is they used that sixth pin, sixth chamber, to hold this core into the uh, Bible. So it goes down into a slot probably on this on this piece of the core. Uh, let me grab my specs. Uh, we might be able to get it open, open anyways. Let me see something. Okay, yeah, there's a hole in there. All right. So with any luck, I might be able to get... Oh, that's not going to fit. That might work. Okay, so if I can get... Oh, uh, this is going to be hard. Let me grab a shim. Like this. If I can get the shim started. Like that. If I got it past that pin, we should be able to get it the rest of the way. When we get these up to a... I don't know if I got it all the way in there. 
Yes, I did. You see that? Push that back retaining pin up, shim it so it stays out of the way, and just put the key in, get all the pins to the shear line, and shove the shim all the way through. Now this should work. Let me grab a follower. I'll tell you what, I've had these explode on me too like this, so it doesn't work every time. Let me spin this around here. All right, hopefully I can keep that bridged. There we go. We got her. Beautiful. All right, now look how nasty the top of this core is. Uh, I hope the camera's doing this justice. Let me try to get it to focus. See what they did to the top of this core? It looks like they just got the pins close and just kind of filed all this, grinded it down to make it work. That's pretty bad. Okay, you know how this goes. It's really boring to take all these pins out. I'm going to do a fast forward and come back when they're all laid out. So enjoy some funky music. Okay, so we got it apart, and I gotta be honest, I believe I got my specs on still. Let me look at this real close. Okay, they are the blob pins. They're the uh, really cheap, uh, poor excuse for security pins, but it looks like it's an attempt at spool pins. All of them. They look like uh, just really, really bad spool pins. I don't know if I can get too close on these without getting blurred out. The camera's going to show that. You see them driver pins? They're almost like spools. They're just uh, almost like a, well, like a Harbor Freight spool, if you will. Just really cheap. So there it is. A uh, little better than I expected in some ways. But you've seen the top of that core. And there's really just uh, there's really just no excuse for that. It's just awful. So, anyways, uh, I'm glad to have it in my collection because I didn't have one of these yet. The Gorilla Lock. I do not know who makes these. I even tried to look it up, and all I could find was Gorilla Lug Nuts for cars, car wheels. So, uh, I'm guessing it's uh, probably the same maker that makes the Harbor Freight ones and all them other cheap ones, and they just put a different company name on it and call it a day. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And as always, if you like this video, hit that button that looks like that right there. It's right below there. Okay? Thank you.